Hey guys, welcome back to Satisfactory News. My name is Mason Zero, and today we're going to talk about overclocking. This is going to be a bit of a tutorial on how the overclocking formulas are going to affect your factory and how best you can use that to your knowledge. So if we go over to this smelter that I have overclocked, uh, I have two power shards in it out of the three that it can hold. Uh, the first thing is, of course, the clock speed. You can do 250% as a maximum. So that would make it 2.5 times faster than the basic. So in this case, I, it's at 200%, so I'm making 60 ingots per minute, whereas if I took these out, I'm only making 30. And that, of course, this should be at 100 here. So clock speed 100%, the standard rate 30 per minute. If I do this, put it up to 150%, it's 1.5 times, putting it to 45, and another one does 200% up to 60. And of course, if you added in another one, it would add uh, 15 more to that in this case. So figuring out how the clock speed affects production is super easy because as you may have seen just there, it's linear. You know, 200% is going to be double of what it is at 100%. That's easy. What gets complicated though is figuring it out for your power grid. Luckily so far in the game, by the time you have enough power slugs to really make a difference, you should have enough power uh, that you won't really have to worry about it. But if you do care, the formula is power usage equals initial power usage times clock speed divided by 100 to the 1.6th power. A little complex, but if you run it in an Excel spreadsheet or something, it makes sense. But basically it sort of curves up. So let's use, uh, let's use an example of something that at its base uses 4 megawatts. If you want to run it at a 200% overclock, then it would be 4 times 200 divided by 100 to the 1.6 power, which is 12.1 megawatts. So you just have to use that formula, make sure that you can handle the overclock, especially in the early game, you're not going to be making that much power, so be wary of that. So the next overclocking to think about is overclocking power buildings. Now these get a little more complicated because unlike the linear aspect of production buildings, these use some complicated math. So as you can see here, this is one of my coal generators that's overclocked to 250%. So how do we get the power that it's creating? And as you can see, the math is going to get a little uh, complex if you look at these numbers here, there's a lot of decimal places, so it's, it's not a clean linear ratio here. So the first one is the fuel burn time, which here is 2.668616 seconds, so about two and a half seconds. Uh, the, the formula for that is fuel burn time equals initial fuel burn time divided by clock speed divided by 100 to the 1 over 1.3 power. So again, not uh, not the most intuitive, not the easiest, but if you plug it into an Excel spreadsheet or something, it should be pretty easy to do. So if we take out these power shards, we can see the base level. So at its base, this takes 5.4 seconds to go through a coal. So we were sort of cutting that in half by putting in the three power shards, but of course the exact formula is a little bit different. So for example, if we put in one power shard, put it to 150%, then we take that 5.4 seconds, divide that by 150, divided by 100, and all that to the 1 over 1.3 power, and that should give us this 3.95. Now next we have the power capacity, and by default, in this coal generator, it is 50 megawatts. It can produce 50 megawatts of power. And this is also not linear. Uh, it is power capacity equals initial power capacity times clock speed divided by 100 to the 1 over 1.3 power. So it's actually very similar to the fuel burn time calculation, except it is multiplied instead of divided. So in this case, if we put in a power shard, put it to 150%, we now make 68.3 megawatts of power. So if we plug that into the formula, that's what we should get. And at 200%, and at 100, 250%, we get the same thing. So you just run it through that formula and you'll get there. So a coal generator makes about 100 megawatts when it's fully overclocked, uh, and it consumes one coal every 2.6 seconds. However, as you can see, this is obviously taking a bit longer than two seconds. 
So that probably goes into the efficiency here. It, my building is running at below 25% efficiency, which implies that the coal can only burn so fast and my overclock isn't really helping with that. So the only thing my overclock is doing here is increasing how many megawatts are produced. So guys, that is how to overclock in Satisfactory. Uh, the math is not too complicated if you have a calculator or Excel spreadsheet available to you. And in the end, it doesn't really matter too much unless you're trying to be very, very precise. But as you can see from that, you know, I have over a thousand megawatts of power available to me and I'm only using a few hundred. Uh, once you get to a certain stage in the game, power becomes easy. These coal generators you see on my screen, I have, you know, five of them are visible and there's another one or two that you can't see. And then I have two oil generators and they're supplying so much power. All of this coal is just off of one coal node and I'm using it for production as well. So the game still has some balancing left to do in terms of power. So at the moment, feel free to just overclock a lot of your stuff. Once you overclock power, you know, there's the sky's the limit really. And you can just keep building. Anyways, thank you all for watching today. If you have any more questions about Satisfactory, feel free to let us know in the comments and we will try to make a video about it. Also be sure to check out our website, satisfactorynews.com, and check out our Discord, which you can find linked below.